What is going on, guys and girls? It is Ghost Robo. Welcome to another exciting podcast. Joining me yet again is two of the luckiest guys in the world. They are local to London, and we've got the Detroit Lions coming all the way from my heart to their hometown. Oliver Mastrov and Scott Game Riot. Hey. Hello. So, I didn't understand that intro. Yeah, I don't understand you it. Don't. Well. What is this American? No, I don't. The NFL is graciously bringing you two of our teams this weekend. To bestow upon you the beauty of football. What, what stadium is that? Wow. You know? I think it's Wembley Stadium. Oh, okay. or Wem- is, that, is that a stadium? It yeah, a stadium. that's the home UK home stadium. Yeah. Okay, right. well, well, that's where it is, so you guys should be there on Sunday. Oh, I'm busy. Yeah, I totally won't. <laughs> <laughs> you should go. It's at. I got way more stuff to do than watch some guys throw a ball around and pretend they're kicking it. The interesting thing, though, is like in general, supposedly it's been like super popular. Like, is it? Apparently. Yeah, that's that's the <laughs> the London silly nannies. No, the the London yeah. Nandos. <laughs> the London Nandos. <laughs> that's a Port- that's Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese Nandos. The, uh, this is this is legit. What uh, Scott told me that I should come to live in Europe for cinemas and Nandos. That was his his, I agree. his pitch. Yeah, that's perfect. Totally agree. <laughs> Two things the we don't place. have in America: chicken and movies. Yeah, plenty of chicken. Just doesn't taste as nice. Yeah, or fried. Isn't Nando's like more of like a, a fast food equivalent of a chicken place? Not really. Mm, so, it's sort of fast it's like, food, but it's not. It's kind of like a buffet, but it's not. It's. Do you I have Chick Fil A there? Never heard of that. Okay. Never heard of it. I think it's probably it? kind of close, maybe ish. Well, like a fillet of chi- chicken. <laughs> 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 no, it's a very. Uh, it's a place I wouldn't go, but a lot of people. It's like, oh, it's an actual place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a chicken place, but it's not like... Fried chicken. No, it's not. So it's not like fast food chicken, fried chicken, but it's not like dinner chicken. That's why I kind of thought maybe it would be similar. It's not dinner chicken. Well, like dinner it's not chicken. like, oh, go sit down with like your <laughs> napkin and fork and girlfriend okay. and like have a, a lovely... What do you do? Meal? Stand up and place. eat like... No, I'm just saying it's not like dim lighting and moody music. <laughs> dim lighting. I hate dim lighting. I hate dim lighting. By the way, like I go to restaurants and it legit creeps me see. out. Like, <laughs> you walk in. Can you turn the lights on, please? It's Pass not. It's not even about seeing for me. It just like I don't know. It trips my anxiety and I get really like. Ugh. But seriously, I'm surprised you guys aren't going to watch my lions. I might check it out on tally. Is this quite an important game then? Or what? Well, every I mean NFL. That's what's nice about. Fo- Football in comparison to soccer, every game matters because there's only 16 instead of every game matters as well. No, you guys have a million yeah, leagues, a million games. People um, are getting what's... traded, playing for multiple teams. Like, like for me as playing a for multiple teams, he like <laughs> subs off one team, runs onto another stadium. Like, guys, I'm ready. <laughs> what's I'm ready that mean? No, but like, okay, when, <laughs> you don't have transfers, <laughs> Scott. When I read your tweets about like this team in this league, like it's not like there's the soccer league of Europe. It's like there's a million leagues. So how do you even know? Who's There's good and who's not? There is a soccer league in Europe, Champions League. Champions League. Okay, but then what? What the heck are the? What the heck is the league you always follow? Premier well, League. Premier League. That's the UK like main league. Okay, but that's what it. about the guys who play over like Real Madrid and stuff in Spain? That's that's a Spanish that's a, league. Yeah, La Liga. It's a different freaking country. Okay, but, that's like you saying. Well, that's, <laughs> that's like you your league Cuck. compared to our league. <laughs> okay, so you're telling me all the teams from the UK play in the same league? No, no of okay, course then, not. That the makes main no teams. sense. So what? Every no. American football team plays in the same league. Yes. Even college football. There's not, leagues not below college just football. The top. No, oh, is there a college football league? All well, no, but I mean, like we, all the pro football teams do. Yes, they will play in one league. Thirty-two just teams. Like you only have thirty-two teams. Yes. Jesus. Well, that's boring. <laughs> There's at least you can like match up. Like, okay, you know who's on this team. You guys just have like this smorgasbord of no, 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 no. Every you know every grown man league. can play soccer you know, on a professional no. team. Here we go. Right, move on. <laughs> Video games, that's what we're supposed to be oh, yeah. talking about, I think. Game. No, we were meant to be talking about Marvel. Explain. Oh, 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 oh okay. Oh, yeah. We got to get to the, the Age of Ultron trailer, which... Mate. All right, I'm going to give you the lowdown, Oliver, because you've seen it, This is it, a right, great Scott? trailer, by the way. Yeah, it's a great trailer. Okay, Scott I put it right in front of me, but I'm not playing All right, it. you can play it after I give you a little description. So you, you saw Avengers 1, right? I did. So Avengers 1 goes like this. Some really big superheroes get together. Iron Man makes some funny, smart humor jokes. Hulk makes some don't get me angry jokes. Thor makes some I'm not from this planet jokes. And then they have a big battle in New York City, right? Pretty much it. Okay, so here's the Age of Ultron trailer. The heroes get together. Iron Man makes some jokes. Thor looks confused. Hulk gets angry. And a robot is in the city. Mm -hmm. And they have to fight the robots in the city this time. Right, so it's the same, but in but, the city. But wait, the here's same. the highlight. Here's the highlight. 
the bad guy looks like Iron Man, like if he was made by a homeless man and didn't have enough money for a nice suit. And you also have Fat Iron Man uh, as the highlight of the trailer. Right, okay. It's an awesome bit of the trailer. So <laughs> you can enjoy I'm, it now. I'm going to press play now, and I'm going to watch it in the background. I mean, I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure it is going to you know, make a billion dollars worldwide or whatever. But I just think, like, oh, yeah. can we get some like new kinds of movies? I didn't see any jokes in that trailer. It looked quite depressing, if anything. You know they're coming, though. And the main robot dude you're talking about, does he not look like a poor He does. Poor He's guy. like a half version of Iron Man. <laughs> not, not, you're not talking about the one where it's all wrecked, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, that's not it. That's that the is end bit. You see his face. That's the end bit is his face. That's the main guy. That's him. And I don't he... know if I'm watching the right bit. I'm watching some... I have no idea what I'm watching. He, he sort of somehow takes control of the Iron Man suits and puts them all together. But that's not actually him. The end bit's him. Ultron. With a really, like, shiny face. Yeah, but he still looks like a cheap version of Iron Man. He doesn't look cheap at all. He's, he's like just a close up. He's like Is Rayman. Is just a close up? Is right that the whole him, trailer? No, tra- the trailer has, like, fighting and the oh, Hulkbuster suit. I've watched some and... random rubbish trailer. What have you watched? I don't know. It just had, like, a face and it was spinning around. I think I've been trolled. <laughs> watch another one. Yeah. There's, a uh, Like, when, when Iron Man gets the Hulkbuster suit, when he's fighting the, the Hulk, because oh, he's busting the Hulk, like, I couldn't tell <laughs> if it was cool or if it just looked like obese Iron Man, like it looked a bit obese. I'm gonna see. Interesting to see how that works. They must go into it. I guess. Does it, does it plummet from like a plane or something? I mean, how do you... <laughs> just he slowly walks all the way from his home in California. Yeah. I think it's cool. I think it's cool I'm sure. What's it? Robert Downey Jr. is getting like 90 million. Yeah, for doing he's that film. he's insane. 40 million he just, just a looked... co-star in Captain mm. Three and really, yeah. Jesus. Here's my thing. If if they can make Ultron interesting or if, if Thanos makes an appearance or whatever, like I thought Loki was a really weak villain in Avengers mm-hmm. One. Agree. He just was sort of like Ugh. he summoned yeah, the enemy just looks scary. like scrap metal in this. See? Not not the end bit. All right, He's I'm like, waiting. I don't He's like strings. No more strings attached. Like what are you, Pinocchio? I think the Iron, I think the Iron Man suits go against them. I think that the old Joe wants to get destroyed in the last Iron Man film. I think they he sort of puts them together. He goes and gets and all the old Iron Man. Oh. I think he kills I think he kills America. There's dude. loads of Iron Man. <laughs> Those what? are those are the robots that they have to fight. The last bit. So so hold on, they're fighting other robots. I guess. Right. Where have these where have these robots come robots. from? Ultron summons them from Robot City or something. <laughs> oh. oh my god, he's big. What uh, Iron Man? Yeah. That fat suit. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's he's been loving the money since the last film, so he's like spent it at McDonald's and <laughs> really puffed up a bit. So that's uh, Hulk is still giving him a, a fight. You know what I think's interesting? Can you? There hasn't really been like a good Marvel video game, almost ever. I mean, some of the old Spider Mans were okay, I don't know but why. like X Men, Spider Man, Captain Wolverine. They've never really killed it, have they? No. I, I even spoke to a guy Activision, and so I was like, "Why have we not seen any good like Spider Man games for a while?" Mm-hmm. And they say because they don't own the IP. So they they, they uh, don't they don't put money into it. Oh, okay. so yeah, that makes they can put money into Destiny and stuff like that. So that makes sense to me i guess in some way but it looks pretty not? good well then how come how come rock study they clearly don't own batman i guess they just have a greater desire to make they have i think they own the rights to like the arkham asylum mm, like that of, sort of um, subset yeah. okay yeah have you guys been seeing that there's a trailer on tv at the moment for a batman tv show gotham yeah gotham, yeah. yeah i've never seen it but it looks really good is it any good it's not it's not in the uk at the moment i think but yeah it is accidentally download it no it is, it is <laughs> in the uk it was on it was on sky <laughs> I've been watching The Flash. That's gross. That's How's that? Oh. The Flash. It's not too bad. It reminds me of that. Uh, um, what's the, what's is he singing or something? Universe? Or? <laughs> he's still <laughs> singing. Okay. <laughs> you said. Does he wear his suit like when he's like saving yeah. people? Yeah. Are they like? He you look so eventually. dumb. What are you doing? It looks yeah. a little bit stupid. But it's like it's cool though. It's The Flash. <laughs> my my question is: At what point do we hit superhero overload and people are like? I think it's time to happen already. Yeah, like freaking Ant Man or whatever it is. Ant Man, yeah. What's his Ant-Man. name? Paul Rudd, yeah. But like, yeah. like think about back in like the late '80s, early '90s when everything was like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, GI Joe, like all these like cartoons, Power Rangers, all that stuff. And then people were kind of like, Ugh. like at a certain point, I feel Stop. superheroes are gonna hit this. I mean, I don't know if you've seen. There's a list from DC of they're gonna sort of expand their universe and do cyborg and green arrow and this yeah. and that and it's like really or green lantern and like green arrow that's terrible green lantern which whatever both all of them i don't know wonder woman lego batman movie lego the movie too like come on guys 
I think when they start bringing back like Iron Man, but not Robert Downey Jr., everyone's gonna be like, eh. When they redo it, get bored. Yeah, they can't compete. Well, the the supposedly the rumor is that they're gonna do they're gonna try to bring Spider Man over into uh, a movie with the current like Marvel crew, Captain America, Thor, and and he's an out to Sony though. Well, that they'll money. they'll loan him out or buy him out. I mean, I know Sony's not running in money at the moment, so yeah. they'll probably be happy for it. Give me my money. And speaking of video games, um, there's been some some nice ones that have come out or almost coming out. I think the big one um, that we should probably touch on first is Sunset Overdrive, Sunset. Yay. Um, which my biggest surprise for a while. You've played. I have played. Oliver, you have it, but haven't played, right? I have it. I just have not had time to literally sit down and play it. I played the first little bit, uh, Did you? first like hour or so. Oh, okay. Um, but not. I haven't, I haven't gone far enough to make my final decision yet, but everybody else seems to be starting to rave about it. So, yeah, give me give me you guys' initial impressions before I, I tell you what I think. I've probably played the most, but um, what did either of you play the demo previously, like the, the Chaos Squad? Yeah. Multi- okay. And to me, like, I hated that. I thought it controlled really poorly, and it was going to be, like, a very underwhelming, mediocre game because all the weapons that I had in the E3 demo were very massive projectiles where you just sort of throw it and like hope it hits something and you're kind of grinding around and it felt very like I was, I was always behind. Dizzy. The, yeah. And I was always behind the action. Like what I was trying to do, I was like, wait, 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 go back, go back. And I couldn't sort of keep up. But with that in mind, what do you guys think of sort of the full product and the tutorials and how it introduces you to everything control wise and sort of gameplay wise? I thought it was alright, but I haven't had long enough to really decide. Give my two cents yet. Yeah. So, Scott, you you can do it. <laughs> um, I just like the game. I like the game. The fact that it's got, I really like the coloring, the sort of art style of the game as well. I like the fact it's, it's it's a game, but it sort of knows it's a game. Mm-hmm. Where I think some games are like trying to be like movies and stuff. I like that sort of fact. It sort of jokes about it and sort of like when you respawn, when I like fast travel, it sort of takes the piss almost a bit as well. But I just like the, I just like the the weapons as well. The weapons are really good. For me, when I played the previous, like I played it, I think at games common E3, and it was very, very slow. Mm-hmm. I didn't know about the the RB button. <laughs> I don't think I knew about the that. boost button. The boost button. I don't think I knew. That. I used to think it was like really slow, but with the boost, it's not too bad. Mm-hmm. It sort of makes sense, and it does give you time to sort of um, like aim, fire. But I feel like some of the weapons are a little bit weaker than others. I like the flaming compensator. I think it's called. Yeah. Um, the acid weapons spring are crazy. is quite good. Yeah, weapons are awesome, but some I swear some are weaker, and they're not what, pretty useless. Or like weaker like the, since since you played them last, or just like overall it's just pointless. Just overall, I think some of the weapons I try to avoid, like Dirty Harry, is a bit pointless. Yeah, if you look in the the pause yeah. menu, there is sort of each weapon has a star rating against different kinds of enemies. Um, okay. And so, like for example, the the uh, the vinyl shooter, the one that's firing the greatest hits or whatever it's called, the one that's shooting, it shoots out like. LP discs or whatever yep. like that's great yeah. against OD but terrible against humans whereas like oh, Dirty okay. Harry is like beast against Good scabs against the human characters and terrible okay. against OD so humans are freaking annoying this game yeah I don't like them at all yeah. they, just get hit. they keep hitting me I'm like I'm off like a mile away and they're still going bang bang like, well, how are you still hitting me I'm on the <laughs> rail and they're still like shooting me which is just uh, bugs me a lot what I think is really impressive about the game is that it sort of compiles all these interesting mechanics and makes it flow right so if you yeah. sort of separate you're like okay we got this really kind of goofy world where it's breaking the fourth wall talking directly to the player you've got things like when you shoot a popper it explodes and says pop on the screen and yeah. it's it's really kind of over the top and crazy and then we're going to combine it with an open world with side missions and collectibles and then we're going to combine it with this weird movement traversal system and it, you know so on and so forth mm-hmm. but to me it comes together so well and i think it delivers a shooter experience that does not feel like every other shooter and I was thinking about games like Bulletstorm um, and some of these more unique shooters that we've kind of lacked. Bulletstorm was a bit of a flop. Did you not like Bulletstorm? I, I really liked the idea, and then it came out, and I didn't like I the didn't final like the game. Idea. I liked it no. at first, then it got really boring. Yeah, I, I just like, ended up kicking everybody. Yeah, just kicking them off the ledge. Or, but what, yeah. I, what I liked about that game, though, is it wasn't just the typical Call of Duty, Battlefield, Kill Zone, aim forward, shoot yeah. your gun, and run through. Like, at least. Yeah, but it gets. Boring after a while. It's not got much longevity, is it? Yeah, it's, it's like they, they've given repetitive. the extra little idea, but they haven't put a whole basis. They're almost just showing off what can be done and sure. they're, they're giving it to another studio to actually 
And, and I can see weeks. that with Bulletstorm, but I think Sunset Overdrive nails it because it not only has like that crazy weapons, go and get cool kills, but it adds the movement system, which at first I thought was going to be really awkward and really cumbersome. And to me, it feels great. And it, it's challenging, but also feasible. So you can really make these runs through the city where you're, you know, mm -hmm. grinding on a rail and then you jump off, bounce on a car, land on another rail, jump off, hit an air vent, shoot up, you know, run on a wall. And, and it, it feels very like, whoa, I'm this cool character. And yet at the same time, like you do have to try. It, it doesn't happen automatically. There isn't a lot of magnetism. Like if you don't hit that car bounce, you're going to land on the ground and, and stop your run. And you're trying to do this not only to move quickly and avoid the enemies, which are, are pretty aggressive, I think, but also you build up a meter that allows you to use amps, which are basically the, the weapon modifiers that give a gun like electricity or maybe allow you to shoot fireballs or, or fireball roll and, and have this electric force field around you. And so you want to be stylish, not just so it looks good or so that you get some high score like in Bulletstorm, but then there's actually like a very tangible element like, hey, if you do well, you're rewarded with this very cool visual treat and very cool uh, extra gameplay mechanic on top of it, which I think like it's a nice balance where everything you do gives you something, you know, it's not just, Oh, look cool to look cool. Um, and the collectibles are the same way where every collectible is tied to a new upgrade, a new weapon. And it, so it's not just, Hey, go find 150 balloons because balloons, like balloons. did you guys ever get obsessed <laughs> with collecting like the flags or the feathers? Oh the yeah. yeah. I no, love the black light thing. <laughs> I get bored very quickly with that. So I always think, oh yeah, I'll collect every flag. And then mm. the time I get like halfway, I'm like, this is getting really boring. And I like, yeah. Um, but Oliver, you like um, to do it like for the achievements and stuff. I used to. Yeah. That, yeah. When I when I was little and you know, every, and it, anything <laughs> that I could get on a video game, I would do. So. Yeah. And and that was um, me too. Like I wanted the thousand out of a thousand. I wanted the achievement points. But ultimately, like those flags and feathers did nothing, nothing for you. And like here, the collectibles are currency for a certain vendor to buy uh, special weapons and upgrades that you can only get buy those collectibles so like there's a legitimate you know how in like crackdown you'd collect things and, and upgrade your character and like i don't know it, it just sort of really I like crackdown yeah it, it nails a balance of being this big open world game with a lot to do but everything feels like important and in an era when every open world game is like drive from point a to point b i like that there's this new traversal system that actually is fun to move around instead of like get in the car Drive, you know, down the same roads, yeah. get out of the car. Mm -hmm. um, Pick somebody up, yeah. take them somewhere else. And, and like, I just think <clears throat> so far, you know, after playing for like three, four hours, like it's kept enough variety to keep me interested. My concern is that how much can you do while you're on these rails with these enemies, with these weapons, like mission wise, what is it going to be? And, and how much are they going to sort of evolve the gameplay? I've heard... Um, that later on you get more skills like an air dash, a double jump, things like that. That yeah, I've seen like a dash in the air as well. I think I've seen in like a trailer. Yeah, so it, it supposedly like keeps things like keeps them fresh building. Yeah, which yeah. which will be interesting to see. Um, but I'm I think it's the surprise of the year so far for me. Yeah, for me it is as well. I mean, I, I was really down on the game before it came out and before I started playing it. I mean, I'm only like I played the game for about two hours, mm -hmm. so I don't know. But I was. The movement is tricky at first. I was getting a little bit frustrated. I was like, I can't, can, am, I, "Am I going to nail this?" But eventually, you, you do sort of get it. Yeah. If that makes any sense, you start to like work out where you can grind, where you can bounce, and, and honestly, pretty much like, anything you can bounce on. Running around on time. foot isn't as bad as I thought it would be. And some of the trailers look like, "Oh my god, don't be on foot! It's super slow and terrible." But it really isn't. Like well, I do find if you walk around, you, you they start die. to swarm on you very quickly. Do you, you see yeah. them coming towards you? How do you feel about the fact that it isn't very punishing? Like if you die, you get like a cool death animation and like you're back in the action. Yeah, I think that's like all games now. I think there's just no people don't like to die. They don't have time to die. <laughs> I hate that. When you, yeah, when you get sent back like half an hour and you're like, that literally stops a game for yeah, me. Yeah, it makes like, it easier for yeah for sure, though, doesn't it? I think it yeah. Can. Like when I was playing Sniper Elite Three, there were points where I'd complete the mission and I was like, oh, spotted by, by one person, go all the way back, and that's when I gave up that game. I just stopped it because. I was like, I'm not doing this twice. Yeah, it, you know. I mean, it destroys your, your skill meter or whatever, so you do have to re-get mm -hmm. that back up. But yeah, it's nice that it drops you back in. And I will say, as the resident Nintendo fan, possibly the thing I love most about this game is it's taking a very colorful and vibrant world and applying some mature elements to make it fun for people who would, you know, 
look down right. upon Nintendo games, but here we have oranges and pinks and blues and color and crazy monsters, and it's still a very, like, more adult game. And, like, I'm interested to see how that will affect sales. If I think It's this, very adult, isn't it? it? Oh, it definitely is in terms of language and gore and, and right. sort of how they, they talk. Is, it, is there much language in it? I, there, I've heard a lot. Yeah. Okay, I must ignore it these days. <laughs> yeah, you I mean, do get fed up with it, video games. There it just are, kind of breeze over you. There are settings to turn off gore and language, which I thought was interesting because oh, really? okay. I do think in some ways there will be younger kids that see this and like, oh, sweet, grind around and shoot these yeah, guys, these funny weapons, ratchet and clank, like that sort of thing. And so that's that's nice that they have that option, but I'm interested to see. I think it's an important game. Like, can a very colorful, vibrant world sell well to a mature audience you know if you make an m-rated game that still has a lot of flair you know can it be successful on next gen or do we have to have brooding characters and dark cities and things like that i think it's a shame it's not on all consoles as well i think it fits perfectly on the ps4 yeah I, PC. I do. guys there has to it be really it kills the game no yeah, but it really kills it i think it builds like, sales tremendously improves what know. for sales for what i think especially for a new ip like this I mean, obviously, if it's like Call of Duty, sure, it's going to sell more if it's on both platforms. But this game is getting so much push from Microsoft. They have a bundle just for really? Sunset. And I think if it was being made on both, I think it would be way more overlooked. I mean, I understand. It's a lot more. You think so? Oh, yeah. PS4 is uh, like I just... It's like three quarters of PS4 now, isn't but it? I think the exclusive push is I mean, massive. Honestly, the, the scores on... Um... So the sales on on Bayonet two, that's gonna, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, I feel so bad <laughs> game because that's a ten out of ten game. It's gonna sell like two copies in the UK. And it's just stupid. I'll get one. Well, supposedly <laughs> I want to get it. Bayonet it two wasn't gonna be made unless like Nintendo was the only oh, yeah. one know, that yeah, wanted yeah. it, and they which gave, makes no sense. I don't know why Sony didn't approach him or someone. I think it's, yeah, a it's a good game. Tricky game to market when you have a half naked lady uh, as the main character. Yeah, but she's good looking. Constant. Yeah, look at Lara Croft. That's. Massively yeah, but this successful. is this is a totally different it's, it's, animal. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's the boob. Yeah, the camera loves to get really nice and close. Um, <laughs> I have not played that one yet, just because it's uh, I've been I've been all over Sunset, and I, mm-hmm. man, I I guess the exclusive thing I love when there's exclusives. I think it makes the systems unique and fun, especially when it's like something like this. Like, hey, you can look at this game, and it's very definable, and you'll be like, boom, Xbox One Sunset. The same way when. Bloodborne comes out like that's a very defined game it'll be like boom PS4 and it's like a nice get mm-hmm. to kind of make the consoles their own like I, I love the thing I like about Nintendo is you know what you're getting when you go on that console and I think it's good to have a little bit of personality in the system and, and see like hey we've got the Halo Sunset Overdrive Quantum Break thing going over here and the Uncharted you know Bloodborne Order thing over here and, and it gives you a sort of a and yeah, but they've missed a lot, though. Like, that's pointing out, like, future games that we think could be big for it. But we've got to look at, like, the games so far for the Xbox One that have been exclusives. None of them you would really go, oh, yeah, the Xbox One, that's got Dead Rising 3. I mean, it's the same for, for PlayStation as well. I don't know. I'm pretty hooked on, um... Let me think of one. <laughs> <laughs> so Let me think hooked. of a good game. He's so what was, that, what was the first game that came out on it? Uh, Killzone? Uh, uh, Knack. No, Knack. Knack, Yeah. Yeah, like when you I think like of PS4, Knack. I think of Knack. I love Knack, but Knack is I actually not really a enjoyed system Knack. seller. <laughs> no, it's it not. terrible. I really not enjoyed terrible. it. I It was one of those first kind of games. I always find it, as soon as I get a new console, whatever game I get, I enjoy. Did you play it's... Infamous yet? Yes. Did you? What do you think of that? Because I feel like everyone's I, forgotten about that game already. I don't like it. I really, no. I love the first one. Um, and then it kind of went downhill for me because I feel it's the same thing over and over again. I think the second one was still the best. But... Uh, Scott, this is a question for you because you played both and a little bit more like oh don't tell me which one's better no I'm, no I'm just gonna say do you think Sunset makes Infamous look a little bit dumb because it's doing so much more in an open world whereas Infamous was just like um, go here and fight this then go to the next one and I feel like they're very they're very different games but similar in sort of their setup a little mm-hmm. bit and to me Sunset just feels like they packed so much more into the world maybe the story isn't as focused but yeah definitely I, I don't know like I just but even in like Infamous, the story pretty much after the first hour just goes so just, dumb. Yeah, it just goes nowhere really. I, mean, I was like, I got really excited at the first bit of Infamous. And I was like, this game's gonna be awesome. And it just dropped off so much. No cutscenes, no story. Well, and you see, like in the um, beginning, you had 
that um, the Space Needle, which was like an exciting thing to use your powers to climb. And then after mm -hmm. that, you have all these awesome moves like the Neon Dash and the Television Flight. And yet it's like you don't need them. It's not really necessary at all. They're never a required thing. It's just like, oh, I can mm -hmm. move a little bit quicker, I guess. Or, oh, I can run up this wall instead of float up this wall. And in Sunset, the movement is very integral to the gameplay. And every addition that you get, like really helps you easier. Yeah. And, and like I'm guessing is going to allow us to get different places already I've seen like giant cranes and things that I currently can't reach yeah I was thinking I was trying to get to the top of this massive crane I couldn't get to the top I was like how the hell do I do this and like think about it I kept bouncing I was like yeah oh, if infamous had more space needles or more things like that I know Seattle you know they tried to keep it realistic but oh now because you have flight you can reach you know this other level of the city or, or it just mm -hmm. I really loved infamous when I played it but in hindsight it just I think the graphics... It's not a 10 out of 10 game, for sure. No, I, I, it's not a 10 I game. I think the prettiness of it really... I think that was the seller of it. Yeah. Was, it was just trying to say, it looks good, but it's... I found there wasn't much to do in it. I, you know, I it felt like I was going here. Like you said, go in here, kill that. Go here, kill that. Whereas that gets quite, quite old quite quickly nowadays. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's not very fair because Infamous was supposed to come out at launch, and so it's sort of a first wave game, whereas Sunset Overdrive is, is like a second wave, you know, a year in game. So there's a lot more... I think they know the development of the Xbox One better, and so maybe they can take advantage. Something that I heard pointed out that I didn't even think about while playing is, like, there's a lot going on at once. Like, OD climbing on things, jumping down, mm -hmm. shooting stuff a at you. A lot of you. them as well, isn't there, on the screen? Some, yeah, and it's like a... it's You wouldn't think of it as, like, oh, this is the most next-gen game, but it's pretty impressive what's going on. You'll have planes fly by, other things happening in the city. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a pretty... I like it. So it's a pretty dang cool game. And he's also, like the it. little the little time things. So you got the little time um, challenges, challenges, and you can like compare times. So I, I beat you the other day. I was like, oh sweet, nice job. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. They actually are really fun. Yeah. I did a point challenge yeah. one. Have you done that one yet? You have to get like five hundred uh, points. I have done that one yet. I don't want we have to destroy electronics. That's quite fun. Okay, I didn't do that one. Yeah, they, like the challenges, they seem like they're all going to be interesting and you get stuff out of it. It's not just like, oh, yay, high score. You get like, like a jacket yeah. point. So they, they've so. really... I don't, I don't understand the difference between like overcharge and the money. I'm like... The money is for customize, like customization options and then the... So like clothes and stuff. Right, and then the overcharge is okay. for, or the OD for weapons. over whatever, yeah, for weapons and like the maps okay, okay. To, for collectibles, sense. which I mean, I think personally they do loot better than Destiny, which... It's a sad thing to say. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get you get loot if you do well. Like, it makes sense, right? If you get the gold, you get better loot than if mm -hmm. you get the silver. Yeah. So, Sunset Overdrive, like, I'm sure we'll talk about it more later, but so far it's shaping up to be a sleeper what hit. What are we predicting for, like, scores? For reviews? Can't say score. 7.5. Really? Really. I, I think this game... Well, I don't know, because we haven't played the multiplayer, and that's a big seller for me. I, multiplayer's not that much of it. It's just co-op. Yeah, but that's the like. If I was playing like running like around a city, if you're doing it with a friend, it's it's a whole different world. I guess so. It's like a it's like a defend the uh, area horde mode type thing, which I think is a nice addition. I mean, I would say this is not my score, obviously, but I would guess that mm -hmm. being an exclusive, which usually helps, and uh, where it's at, okay. I think it gets nines. Nines, wow. Yeah, yeah, I think eight point. And I think nines. people are gonna really like the fact that it's doing something a little bit different you know like it it looks different it's got a different vibe and i think that that originality is going to help its score a lot yeah mm -hmm. all right i'll go for 8.25 okay <laughs> real bit better what about 8.258 <laughs> no that's just crazy that's crazy <laughs> stupid. other games yeah. that have uh that we've been playing lately throw one out there there's so many i can't think like yeah far cry i've got shut up mordor have we all played far cry? clash of clans i haven't played far cry yet you play Clash of Clans, though. I play. Of <laughs> course, I play what Clash what Clans, is the? But... We're gonna give you the sixty-second Clash of Clans uh, segment. Go. Cool. Well, there's been a brand new update on Clash of Clans. <laughs> just come out. It's a Halloween update. It's got a few new things. It's got the new skeleton trap, the new mortar, which is the fourth mortar you can get. Also, a lot of new boot, uh, loot bonuses, which is pretty cool. You can also have Halloween stuff spawn on your base, which is awesome. Halloween headstone, which you can keep, which is Halloween specific. So don't delete it, otherwise you'll never get one again. But if you do delete it, you'll get a five thousand, five hundred, oh wait, fifty thousand elixir, <laughs> uh, which is pretty nice. So the new update brings a load of new things. Barch is now uh, pretty much dead because of the fourth mortar. It makes the defense a little bit overpowered, but it's pretty good. Uh, that's that update. Anything else I can talk about? Uh, boom, um, boom Beach. Well done. 
Boom Beach also has a new update. It's called Task Force, uh, where you go out with friends and you have operations, and different operations have different power bases, and you all go attack them at once. But each time you attack them, uh, you actually do a little bit of damage. So the next guy that comes across, that damage is already done. So you can plan an attack to the left, plan an attack to the right, destroy the whole base, just go for the power bases. What you get from them uh, is you get different force points. Force points go towards your uh, leaderboards, and when you get your clan, or well, clan Task Force higher up in the leaderboard, obviously you do better and get different OP rewards. But sometimes you can have either, there's four leaderboards, there's one for five, one for 10, one for 25, one for 50, and for each one is a different amount of members in a force task force um so you have to decide whether you want loads of people in your task force to be in the top leaderboard or you want only five people and you kind of battle out in a really hardcore leaderboard great fun really go try it now awesome well thank you very much that has been the clash of clans boom beach minute brought to you by uh supercell games and master i was at supercell yeah i, I went to supercell. how was their studio like for a mobile studio were you like was it big? awesome yeah really cool it was it was pretty they actually had the old nokia offices okay. uh in uh, Helsinki, uh, but it, it's been completely like revamped and everything, and it's really, really nice. Everyone's like, it's really open, so there's no kind of like cubicles. It's all open. Everyone's chatty. Nice. Um, it, it seemed like nobody was working, but <laughs> obviously, I think that was what they were trying to inspire was more of like a, like like a, I guess a family feel to it. Right. Because uh, like every Thursday they had like uh, puzzles and pizza night at the office, and you know this, Ooh. that, and the other, uh, and it was really cool. Obviously, really, really modern, um, and there were some things I can't tell you about, but it's pretty cool. Nice. A lot of stuff coming up, or just... Sequels. Yeah, kind of just things. Clash of Clans 2 confirmed. Would that, would uh, that yeah. happen Clash of Clans Town Hall 11 confirmed. Clash of no, Worlds. I, Clash of Worlds. Build yeah, your own worlds. planet. Earth. Yeah, that'd be space. pretty cool. Speaking of space, nice. have you guys both played Alien or just one of you? Or? I, I played, played it, it, but... I haven't played it much. It's, it's not really my thing. Here, here's my thing about Alien. Just like we'll talk about it real briefly. I think the first two hours of Alien is one of my favorite games of the year. Yeah, I did the watch a little bit of your playthrough. Just like the first two hours. Yeah, the first two hours is fun, but then I think apparently it gets. I haven't really gotten much further, but it just gets frustrating apparently. Well, then then yeah, all the stealth stuff fun. comes in, the hiding and like the actual yeah. game. But I think before that game, the first game of like exploring this kind of creepy space station, it looks beautiful. It's got audio logs, good atmosphere. There's a little bit of you know. F like a little bit of like enemy stuff. You have to hide some androids are really scary, but like why, why is no one making more of those kind of games? Like the Bioshock, the beginning of alien, like explorative, creepy, but not like, Oh, just a stealth horror game, but more of like, I know it sounds really indie to say, but I, you can do a triple A game like that, like a space station game or, I don't know. I just I loved those first two hours, and I was like, "Man, yeah. this is this is going on my game of the year list as like the first two hours of Alien." Oh, really? <laughs> well, I, I do need to play it. It's I've heard it gets obnoxiously boring and really long bad. and repetitive and bad and hard and yeah. I was watching one thing where this guy was complaining because he was literally sat under a table for twenty minutes. Yeah, and then then the alien moves. It's like nobody what? has time for that. And it's got literally. that horrible save checkpoint system. Yeah. You can lose, you know, huge amounts of progress. and uh, that's, that's, that's probably more scary than me than actually the alien itself. He's dying. He's it? dying. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't want to have to do God it all damn again. It. Yeah. yeah. This game's a prison. I just think that, yeah. I think that the space station setting is a really cool setting. And like, you don't have to do, oh my God, assemble a team to go save the world like Mass Effect or, oh my God, horrible alien, but more of like a Last of Us game in space. Well, you are you gonna are you gonna complete that game then? Or Alien? Gonna, no, I, okay. I, I like it's not even that it's that scary for me. Like I'd be cool with that. It's the fact that so much of the game is doing nothing. Like a lot of their hours of gameplay are doing nothing, like hiding in lockers, sitting under tables, and then I've heard that the alien is completely like you can't get sort of a read on it. Like it's erratic and unpredictable, which is nice because it's more realistic. But at the same time, that's mm -hmm. awful for you. Gamers. Dying and, yeah. and having to redo crap and like, ugh. I'll get angry. Very yeah. Angry. It's not something that I'm going to. But it's beautiful. I mean, it's, to me, it's interesting to go from, I was, I was going from Alien Isolation to Shadow of Mordor mm -hmm. and I was like, why does this game look so much better? And I was like, oh, it's because it's next gen exclusive versus cross gen. And I think we're starting to see like that real. Well, I think the PC version of Shadow of Mordor is good. It does look very good. I just think in general, like the overall, there's a shine and like a clarity to the alien environment that, I mean, it, to me, it just looks so next gen and 
and I think you're going to really see like that differentiation starting now, especially like the games that are, Hey, we're on both versus the games that are pushing that hardware next gen. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to notice a, uh, a big, a big difference. I was trying to think what other games there are that are literally just next gen. There is Alien. That's soon. Assassin's Creed Unity. 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 Mm, come on. And that's it for this year. <laughs> that's it. That, God it's damn not it. Loads, is there? I mean, next year you'll have a, a boatload. There'll be the boat, literally. Yes, yeah, a full a full <laughs> boat. A, a sailboat yes. full of them and we'll send it to the UK and you'll get it two days later than us because that's how everything works over there. Is Lords yeah. of the Fallen just next gen? Lords of the Fallen isn't just next gen, yes. But it is just next gen. I would not say that that is a game that pushes uh, graphical mm. limitations. Yeah, I don't think their budget but was in the... I thought, it, it, I thought it would based off like trailers and stuff but when I played it I was like, eh, looks okay. It's I a guess. prettier Dark Souls. Yeah. Just about. I mean, it's not even that much. Isn't that is Homefront going to be a new game? Is there a new Homefront game, or did I dream that? That's probably being planned. I bet it gets cancelled. Crytek sort of folded, and, well, mm-hmm. a lot of them kind mm-hmm. of did, and it got picked oh, up. I didn't, um... Google who that. Bought it? Who bought that game? Is it Deep Silver? Deep Silver, which... I'm sure they'll put it but out, yeah. but I don't think the... There's not going to be a Very lot of money good. behind it anymore. No, what was it called? Just Homefront 2? Homefront Revolution? Oh yeah, Home we saw it, didn't we? Yeah, we, we saw, saw it—a a demo of it at E3, and to me, it looked like open world game number eighty. Oh really? No. Oh, it's yeah, it is next gen only, so I don't know. Could be interesting, but if it, if it comes out, that is. I mean, Evolve is next gen only, and then yeah, you'll have be Batman, um, The Witcher Three. And Bloodborne and The Order and Quantum Break. Like, starting next year, it's going to be, I think you'll start to see, right now it's like, what, 10% of titles for next gen only, and, and next year it'll probably get to like 50-50, I bet. Yeah. It's like Advanced Warfare, is that cross? Yep, but it's two different mm-hmm. developers, right? Right, uh, okay. I guess that makes it maybe a little bit more promising. Hopefully. Although they, they still have, have, have the stupid same. stupid day one pass. Yeah, how do you, how, what do you think about that? The fact that, I mean, it's it's totally an advertising scheme because, oh, um, yeah, it's just I've already pre-ordered it. Right, so it's everyone's gonna get it <laughs> day zero. Worked perfectly for me, but it's like if you're gonna buy it, you might as well buy it, get it a day early. They just want to get your money before exactly. So how so how does it work? I don't understand how it works. So you pre-order and so I pre-ordered the game now. You can get it Monday. You, they will just send so it a day survive early. is at my door on Monday. Yeah, they or do they have the code? No, they send it a day early. Yep, that's it. Okay, well. it it doesn't really. I don't know. I, th- I guess it's a good idea because people will go, oh, I'll buy it, buy it and get it early. But if you're really going to buy it, you I don't, don't care about one day. Well, Something. yeah. Well, I think the deal was pre-orders were significantly lower than any year in, you know, in the recent memory. And so Activision was yeah. like, how are we going to get these numbers up? We got to sell yeah. copies. Blame Call of Duty goes for that. Yeah. And I, I mean, that is my still my most anticipated game, I think, right now. What, Call of Duty? Yeah. Yeah, what's it gonna be better on Xbox One or PS4? Oh, that's a tough call. Like, Ooh. I love my PS4 Ooh. so much, and I'm I'm starting to really like the triggers for shooters. Like, I play Destiny on PS4, mm-hmm. um, but I feel like it's such a like. I think of Call of Duty, and I think of Xbox. Xbox, yeah, same. I just think for the DLC as well, to be honest. That's true as well. If the game's good, the DLC early is nice. Yeah, yeah. But comes out pretty soon though like November a week or two? 4th and 3rd if you have the Day Zero edition <laughs> I'm really excited because the gun game was uh, announced to be back in it which is like one of my favorite modes yeah um, I like some is that where so you good. like your gun gets upgraded like slowly no it, like, it, it's the one where like you have to go through the entire awesome. lineup yeah, of guns it. like start with a pistol then you move up so you, you kill someone right. you Kimbo pistol gun. yeah I, I yeah, thought that mode yeah. was just so fun I think it's the best one like the yeah, wager matches stick and stones I miss those wager matches so much what was the third Same. one? There was one in the chamber. One in the chamber, yes. Those were all so good. So yeah, good. I, I really memories. hope COD just you know comes through big. Is there a November game that you guys are, are really got your it sights is, on? It's Call of Duty. Called and Far Cry for me. Far Cry. Let, and Clash let, of Clans. Let's <laughs> Clash of Clans. Let's talk Far Cry just for a, a couple of minutes since both of us have played it. What was your take on that overall? Because um, we both played an early version, we got to play the same build. Yeah. Um, it wasn't final, but it was pretty close. We were just sort of dropped into the world, um, and that game comes out November eighteenth. Um, so we played mm-hmm. what has to be a near final build on PlayStation Four. I find we, we we found a lot of bugs Did you? when we were playing okay. in in Pallith. Um 
like people like falling out of the world and stuff but apparently that will be fixed apparently every day they find bugs 10,000 bugs or something wow that's a lot of bugs that's who has the job of fixing that (laughs) but um I like the world is massive which is for me is always a nice plus but it looks like it was just trees a bit of water trees I think the most Um, exciting thing about it is the giving like a key to your friend to come and join you for a bit the multiplayer I think that's going to be quite cool like I know a lot of my friends won't won't get it, but to know that I can, you know, hop them onto my game and help me out. It's only then... for a couple of hours, though, isn't it? Yeah, but you get a few keys, don't you? Get 10, I think. And you get 20 hours of gameplay to I mean, only PS4, though, by the way. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. I think... Well, then, that's useless. <laughs> <laughs> I think what are they doing? Far Cry 4, like, it, it is so apparent that it's the second priority game at Ubisoft. Like, AC Unity mm-hmm. is the focus, and Far Cry 4 is... Far Cry 4. Like, I'm sure yeah. it's because it's cross-gen, but I enjoyed my time with it. I like the game. I think, like, if you're going to go spend 60 bucks, it's one of the best you can do. There mm. are so many missions and so much crap to collect and do in that game, but it really just feels like Far a Cry 3.5 in a different environment. And mm. it's so noticeable that there were not big upgrades made to that game versus AC Unity, where they're like, hey, we fixed... The free running. Hey, we fixed the you know the climbing and the descending. Hey, we fixed you know how missions can sort of break down and then change into a different type of mission. Hey, we you know blah 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 blah. We added a true stealth button so you can crouch. Far Cry Four doesn't have any of those improvements, and I don't know if that's because it's cross gen, if it's because they just didn't have that ambition for the game, or if it's because it's the second, like the. So you think the graphics look quite bad as well? Was that just me? The graphics look very. Average. I think they look okay. I think they look good. I just don't think they look mm. crisp. I feel like just it, watery. I don't move forward from the last game. I mean, it's definitely better than Far Cry Three. I think if you went back and looked at that, oh, I, guess so. I, I think. But I, I, to me, like again, it's that issue of like, is this game next gen only, or is this game cross gen? Oh, it's cross gen, so it looks like a little bit nice, but not fully. That should, that should be a cross gen game. Oh, I mean, I think the reason. It's cross gen is because it was quick and easy to pull over. pump out. Pull over, yeah. yeah, I mean it. It just it basically is a, a Far Cry three. You got a new lineup of animals. You got some new crazy things. The one say, thing I will say that I really like demon fish. Exactly, yeah. Is that they they had they had multiple <laughs> worlds. So like you can go up into the Himalayas where it's all snowy and that's like a totally different environment. Or you can go to Shangri La, which is like this sort of weird, dreamy, all red land. And that's totally different. So there are multiple environments, mm-hmm. but yeah, Scott, you're totally right. Like what they sort of, the initial trailers where you're like up in the mountains and it's snowy. I thought the entire game was going to look like that. Instead, it basically mm-hmm. is like a foresty area with mountains in the background. It's because forests are Maybe. easy. Yeah. Forests are, you know, a little bit of like difference in the ground. A little hill here and there, and just chuck some trees on it, and they're done. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think the world is... being massive is a great thing, but I was traveling a lot. Yes. I was like seeing that freaking gyrocopter <laughs> thing, just going for ages, from like a from point A to B. It took me ages to get across. It was like ten minutes of just me just pressing, pressing forward. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, one of those games that feels like instead fun. of building a campaign and then expanding out from that, they're like, hey, we have this big world, and let's try to fit some story into yeah. it. Like, it was built from the outside in instead of from the inside out. Where Sunset is pretty opposite to that, I think. Sunset yeah. has a world that feels like it totally complements the main gameplay focus, yeah. whereas... They got the, they got the mechanics yeah. and then put the world into that. Which I think yeah. is a... You know, I think it will review higher. I think Far Cry 4 will review two or three number points lower than Sunset. 7.5. I mean, there, yeah, there's but... still a lot to do. It's still, like, a fun game. I just think that it's... It's like, hey, do you want a time filler or do you want something really special? You know? Yeah. And like, I so hope. So it's like, it's been done before. They haven't really, they haven't pushed it to go next gen. I think a big thing is if they did make it just next gen, it, they could have done so much more with it, but there must have been some limitations. Totally. They're, they're, I mean, that game, I think, is identical cross platform. It's not like, oh, here we have, you know, there's no rhinos in the, in, in the last gen yeah. version or something. But, <laughs> but do you know if it's coming out on like one, two, or. 20 discs on the Xbox oh, 360. Geez, yeah, probably, probably 16. <laughs> That's true, yeah. yeah That's a, that disc. Did, did that you disc. see the, the Halo Master Chief thing of that that game could have required two discs, but instead you have a 20 gigabyte day one download? That's not the reason, is it? I mean, they've just they've had to 
do a lot of work since submitting the game, I reckon. It's not. But they talked about that they didn't want to put it on two discs. That they're like, what? hey, we, you know, we could have probably whatever, but we didn't want to put it on, on, oh, on two discs. Probably cost them more. Yeah, and it looks really bad, I think, if you're like... But not everyone has the ability to download a 20 gigabyte patch on day one. Yeah, I, my storage on my Xbox and PS4 is like pretty much full, and there's yeah. not that many yeah. games on there. I mean, Plants vs. Zombies is taking up like 100 gig at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Crazy. insane. I mean, my Xbox One, I'm considering getting the, the dumb advanced warfare bundle just because it has an internal terabyte. And like, I know yeah. you can attach like a secondary drive and blah, but that's really annoying to me. Like, I don't... Doesn't look very good either. So. No, it's it's cumbersome, and it's like, why do I have to have this babysitter attached to my Xbox One just to help me play the games that I want to play? Yeah, and I don't then know you'll why probably they get a bit of big lag. hard drive. Sorry. Yeah, I thought 500 gig was pretty small when I like heard about it. Well, it sounded big until we heard that games were going to be you know 40, 50. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't. I knew it sounded small as soon as I heard the size. It didn't sound right to me, especially being like next gen. And towards that end of that period of like last gen, they kept doing the installs. Yeah, and I know the installs were getting bigger and bigger. But yeah, it was a pain just installing a game last gen. It was like, what? you got to install it. Surely the disc can do patch. it. But yeah, now everything, every day I require an update. Yeah, that, I mean... Go ahead. Sorry, the Xbox One's like so massive. They could have fitted at least three here to drive. <laughs> yeah. They have I, I'd, l- I'd love to know what's under there. I'm, I might take mine apart after this and have a look. Yeah. Well, what's interesting is I'm I, I'm getting, a uh, in the next couple of days, a portable Xbox One, and somehow the guy figured out how to fit everything internal into a, like a laptop size. Uh, casing including the power brick there's no external power brick so i'm very curious like it must be yeah. packed in there like sardines or something is it is that the guys that been not aware of the news recently that done was it the, the guys you got it from yeah the guy that's done the, yeah. the ps the playbook i think it's called for ps4 and the x book mm-hmm. for xbox one and like unbox it it's i mean it's a 22 inch screen on a laptop custom okay. casing i got my little ghost on there it's <laughs> I am pumped. That's cool. I am pumped for it, and uh, just to be able to carry around like that system with a screen and play it anywhere. I mean, you still have to plug it in, right? But only one plug. One plug, it? yeah. Literally a plug. Which, sure, yeah. it's not like you'd put some double A batteries in there, no. and <laughs> off you go. Some like that would be cool. double Z batteries to power that thing. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they. Frank O'Connor, the franchise development director for Halo, said that, um, you know, he wanted the game to be a seamless experience for Master Chief Collection and. Since the bulk of the update is multiplayer and multiplayer related, the logic is sound. There will be a title update in there, but that's a tiny fraction. So it sounds like basically most of what you're downloading is the multiplayer. multiplayer. And this, because he says you can play the single player perfectly fine while it's downloading. So okay. they didn't want to do two discs because that would be awkward and cumbersome. And instead, you basically are downloading the multiplayer on. Uh, yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. I'm looking at the photo of this portable Xbox. It's pretty cool. I hope it's, it's pretty cool. cool. He he wouldn't tell me how much it weighed. That was my question: with how much does it weigh? It must weigh a lot. Then. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the Xbox One itself is like a ten pound console. It's... So, this... how much you got? Didn't you, you got two the other day, didn't you? How much? How much that weigh? Uh, yeah, so Microsoft sent me uh, a a white Xbox One bundle and one to give away, which is awesome of them. But it was a twenty seven pound package. Oh my god! And I was like. <laughs> what? Each crazy. Xbox is 13 and a half pounds with all the stuff. I mean, the power brick to me is the dumbest thing ever. How is the Xbox One so large and has a power brick and the PS4 is half the, the size so small. and doesn't have one? I mean, is that mm-hmm. just design chops or is that the fact that there's Kinect stuff in there maybe? Or like... Oh, he's he's done photos of the inside of the Xbox One, like in the, in the case. It looks cool. It looks really cool. So much green motherboardage. <laughs> it's literally just green with fans, and I wonder how loud they're going to be. Yeah. That's going to be a big thing as well. If it overheats, it should be the same, same loudness as the uh, Xbox. Or yeah, but they could if you install side fans in. But if you shove the power brick in as well, I mean, I'm I'm on my third power sure. brick now. It, you know, they've overheated and blown up on me. For so. Xbox One. Yeah. Weird. What? Where, do you have it like underneath a blanket, or no, do you cuddle with it? Or it, it, I I do. I just, I just leave it out there. <laughs> so uh, boom. It's fine. It's not doing anything wrong, but it just seems to blow up on me, and I get this annoying red light, and then I'm like, right, I replace that. But if you put that inside the console, I can just imagine the whole thing just bubbling. Yeah. It, well, um, I hope it doesn't blow up. That would be really. Uh, that would be upsetting. But it will be cool. Like, I mean, I could just you know show up at my local Whole Foods or, or the airport, plug it in, and play some Sunset Overdrive on my lap. Like that's that's appealing to me. That'd so. be pretty cool. We shall see. Before we go, I have to quickly give a little Nintendo minute um, and mention that I got the new 3DS 
the new 3DS. All right. And um, it's yours, locked Japanese. It is Japanese, which sucks, but it's very pretty. My Princess Peach faceplate is so hot. Oh. And, uh, in, no, it's just impressive to me, like, how much they've refined the design. Comparing it to the original 3DS, it's such a much better product. And, like, I guess I just don't understand why they don't, like, it, do they intentionally do this so they can sell four different 3DSs? Or do yep. they just get better and smarter over the years? Like, what's the what's the real well, idea behind that? I'm still stuck about the Wii U, so let's move on. Yeah, didn't, didn't um, Nintendo just release a d- job for, like, uh, a next-gen console mm-hmm. oh, really? they're supposedly yeah. i mean Ooh. obviously everyone's always in the hunt for what's next but yeah i think nintendo Wii will U2. it better not be called that i think they should just call <laughs> it the nintendo the, the nintendo we no, we no no we yeah. no nothing we, we, we together just nintendo i think i think we, that would we. sell like gangbusters what would it look like just you like an nes oh That'd man cool. yeah if they went retro and like gave it like the like look of an old nintendo system but it obviously wasn't like oh cartridge based or whatever. I think that would be interesting. I loved cartridges. Did you? Until you have to yeah, blow I, on them and they don't work. Yeah, yeah, but I mean with discs it's the same problem. I don't know why everything's not on like an SD card or I don't know something. You know, it could be discs, tiny. Discs are fine unless you I literally sit on them. Yeah, and it's such a pain. Everything's digital. I mean, that's I. I'm. Yeah, where do you guys fall on that? Because people ask me that all the time. Like digital versus hard copy. I like. I do like getting the discs. I prefer though. hard copy. Do yeah. you? I just like having the option to switch. Like, I know it sounds so dumb, but being able to oh, play NBA and then switch over to Alien and then switch over to Mordor, like, that's... What, without getting out of I, I, I want a disc where I can just install it as well. Oh, I, don't like, I don't like having to, like, mm. open the case and... I mean, it sounds so petty, thing. but... But seriously, it's nice just to have your library on there in the same way that when you turn on your computer, like, you're not putting discs in your computer anymore. Like, Steam has everything nicely sorted for you, and... I mean, I, I, I upgraded my PS4 hard drive to um, two terabytes, so I'm not hurting for space, so I can download a lot. But, like, yeah, on the Xbox One, I delete a game every time I download. I mean, the Wii U is disgusting, too, because it's a 32-gig hard drive, and Bayonetta 2 was, like, a 15-gig download. <laughs> Actually. What? Yeah. So <laughs> I can't even play it on my one. I had to plug in my you got a white one. external yeah. uh, HD. I mean, no, that's if you download it. You can get the disc and play it, but the, the download space, I mean... I still love my Wii U. I, I love I Wii U. Mean, I don't play it, but I, it's, I like really it. Dusty. Just to finish yeah. off the 3DS thing, the little second stick is basically like an eraser nub, and it is the... Like, it helps a lot with Smash Bros., but I have no idea what else they're going to use it for because it has such a small range of motion. It feels like the stiffest little eraser that got Why glued Why not yeah. on one? Yeah, I was very confused when they announced that. I was like... Right, I mean, that's where they've missed something massive here. I don't think the circle pad is that great, but I think... I almost wonder if Nintendo intentionally limits themselves sometimes so that their next product can be more exciting. So, like, the new 4DS or whatever the heck it's called is going to have, you know, straight-up double sticks and a big screen. Like, then they can be, like, finally with two real sticks or whatever. What's the 4DS going to do? Like, throw water at you? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's like it's like those uh, things where it, like, shoots out air and, like, yeah. you know, vibrates. And... <laughs> it's just going to be set on a train with, yeah, hair blowing everywhere. Oh, it's the 4DS. Absolutely mad but yeah a quick note on like the next gen Wii or whatever you want to call it if, if they if they don't come out and it's not more powerful than like the PS4 or something it's just like oh, I'm not going to bother yeah. but why, I think if it so doesn't have like six cores they, they need to come out with a massive hard drive like, here, here's my thing about that power system. there we go it's fine because Nintendo does they do uh, Super Smash Bros and you know they do sparkly games okay but like really honestly pretty. people were so complaining and like whining about the fact that AC is limited because the Xbox One it's 900p like god forbid I don't think anyone notices that at all unless you're like set up right next to your TV I am like I was at the Apple store looking at the 5k and then I looked at just the normal screen and the difference is yeah but in, in, in terms of that sure but like Think about 900p versus 1080. Those extra 180. Nice. Are you gonna? Yeah, but I'm just saying like they need more power. They need to be matching the power at least. I guess I... they yeah. need to come back in the market and be like, get all the third parties back. They need to start getting on with it. If they yeah, come out some shitty time. Console, I think the yeah. interesting thing though is just like, sure for um, you know, Xbox One, Halo needs to look realistic and Uncharted, but I don't know what more. You're not. They're not gonna make Mario look like a real dude. So. They could make it look <laughs> incredible. They could. That'd be so funny. It would be absolutely... Uh, they're actually making a, a, a Super Mario movie, aren't they? Are they? 
Yeah, I, I read about it today. What? Uh, I, I, I think it was like so Games cool. got posted a message about it. The guy that did the screen writes 439 pages long. Oh my god, you're uh, right. What the heck? Super and a, Mario World movie. Apparently it's a rubbish storyline. No, or it's not. I don't so know. it just it just was like an idea. It's not coming out. Yeah, but it, the the uh, rumors are that you know it's already in like pre-production, so oh, it's, it's like getting serious. Mm-hmm. I've heard that they that uh, <laughs> Disney um, was looking to rent Mario for Wreck It Ralph two. Oh yeah, because they let him have Wreck-It Bowser, Ralph. but not Mario for Wreck It Ralph one. Rent it. Well, like you know, borrow his oh. face for a couple you know scenes or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I do agree. Bowser like, was in it for like a second. A more powerful Wii U or whatever is definitely got to match it, necessary. But are people like here? Here's their dilemma, right? Would we rather make cool a cheaper people. console that's less powerful but makes the Nintendo games look great because that's what people buy, or a powerful mm-hmm. system where you can play Watch Dogs Two on it, but no one's gonna buy Watch Dogs Two on it? Why wouldn't they? Why yeah, wouldn't, if they why do it would, right? It, do you, do you really see enough, a world says, in which, let's say Nintendo comes out 2016 Christmas with a new console, all right? Mm-hmm. And so your PS4 and your Xbox One are now three years old. Are you really going to say, hey, ditch that PS4 for multiplatform? I'm going Wii U 2. If it's amazing, then yeah. But yeah, but it, it can't, it's not going to be better then, right? Because the game... It might be. For it's Nintendo cool. games, but not it can't, it can't make Watch Dogs 2 better. It might be so Come amazing on. that Ubisoft's like, you know what? Or whoever <laughs> makes Watch Dogs. Might be some like, exclusive like, yeah, like, content you know, in it. Yeah, we're going to put it on that. You I can can't tell if you guys are trolling me or if you're serious. Right, you if know, they you wanted can... to make the Wii U strong enough, they could have. They just couldn't yeah. be asked. It's like you put on your Oculus Rift, you stand on your little walk pad, and you can run around places. <laughs> what's what's the Wii U price that. in the UK right now? God knows. Too much. 180 or something. 80, yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. So that's, so that's too like much deal. about 250, 200, uh, 300 or something like that. I mean, to Probably. me, I think if you go buy a Wii U, a second controller, Smash Bros. Mario Kart, that's I don't know that PS4 or Xbox One can match that. Yeah, but that that's all you're going to get for your Wii U. Well, sure, but if you get yeah, a PS... I mean, Zelda. If you get an iPad, get Clash Clans, it's free. Yeah, exactly. So go buy an iPad. <laughs> you get, it, it can do <laughs> movies, I got the new, I got the new iPad, actually. Did you? How is it? It's it's really good. The, the one thing I don't like about it uh, is oh. I didn't have the older iPad uh, before this one. I had the one before that, so I was like two generations. Is this the now. Air or the like? This is the Air Two. Okay. Ooh. So it's the thin, um, thin but big. Yeah. Okay. So I had the I had the Retina, but not the Air. Okay. Um, and I actually prefer the build of my old one because at the moment when I play music or any game, I can feel the sound vibrating through the device Weird. through the back of it because the uh, mm-hmm. aluminum bit is so. Like well, thin and up. yeah, and on my other one I hold it and I can't hear the vibrations. I can't feel it. And this one I do feel like I could just like literally I'm holding it now and I could flex this thing easy with my pure hmm. muscle skill. Do you ever feel like the hype of the Apple product Dentist. is like way greater than when you actually get it and you're like this one isn't that much different? <laughs> yeah, but I, for me, I love well, it. for me, it's when I went to the forest to the six, I was like, oh my god. Well, yeah, if you wait a long time, but like yeah, doing but... like a yearly iPad upgrade, like. You're like what? Um, you well, first of all, you're stupid <laughs> doing that. That's like I that's that. that's curse your consumer choice. That you know, they don't not saying every year. Well, no, I, I know. I'm just saying like year. ultimately, it's like it still plays games, it still plays movies, it still oh, browses yeah. every other yeah. year, perhaps. Yeah, like every every now I've skipped two years of iPads. Yeah. So this was the second year. But going to this one's a huge difference. But my girlfriend has the one in the middle and yeah, I don't know whatever. it's too much difference yeah. I mean it's just like they're always like oh this one's a hundred times more powerful the graphics and I never like I never see that really materialize into anything worthwhile you're clearly not in the mobile gaming market sir which which game takes advantage of all this power uh Clash of Clans no <laughs> Clash of Clans Infinity Blade, Blade super basic. was amazing when Infi- Infinity Blade came out but um like they showed that they can run Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare on it I don't know if you watched the demo of that oh, I really? didn't is that coming uh, to but- iOS I don't. I don't know if it is. I just don't know if it was just demo. a. This is what we can do. Hmm. Um, but they, they could play it on. It was like low PC settings. They were. They had like this whole trailer for it. But it looked cool that even that could be done on it. Sure. Do you have that thing with your new iPad where you're like, I don't want any like, any dust on this. I don't want any scratches. Like I must keep it so perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> like I. I do have that. But it. I need a case at the moment because I try to put my old case on, but obviously the size is all changed. You, and, you didn't want one of those and, Apple seventy dollar uh, leather cases. I, w- I will be getting one of them. Are you? The leather ones? <laughs> I think so. I had my most, <laughs> this is probably my most futuristic feeling moment of my life today. I walked into Foot Locker, which is a shoe store here, 
And yeah, we have it too. Okay. Wait, you no, guys are, I, not, you know, I don't know. Yet. You guys, where they all, they all wear referees. Do you guys jerseys. have the light bulb yet? Has that come? Oh, yeah, we do. We have. Did you just get it? Yeah. Okay. We have a bigger one than yours. Just, just making sure. But anyways, I walked in and I you know, <laughs> asked for the, the shoes I wanted and I walked up to the register and I just held my phone next to the little you know, uh, scanner there, think. and my phone was asleep. It brought up a picture of my American Express card and said, touch to pay, put my thumb right on there. Boom. Transaction complete. It was. Oh, we don't have that. App, well, Apple Pay is in certain stores. I don't know if you guys have it yet in the UK, but we don't. Uh, it just came October twentieth to, to, like Starbucks and and Foot Locker and some other places. And it's quite worrying, isn't it? Someone can steal your phone. Oh God, I've lost that man. Yeah, money you need touch ID. But it's, yeah. it's touch ID required. So okay. Thumb, but like we have okay, the, well, they, the credit card. Cut my finger off. Take my phone, and then I'm screwed. Just for, Actually, just for you need a you need a live uh, you need a live <laughs> finger. You need heat. I'm afraid. Yeah. You, so do you need heat as yeah. well? You need oh, a okay. load of random stuff like a. Uh, you need so to be earth. So if they finger off, I'll be like, no, you need that. <laughs> you need your feet. You need everything. You need an earth. But it just makes human. me think of like, you know, like how in movies we, you would see like, oh, they scan his eye and he makes the purchase. Like we're not that far from that. Like thumbprint scan and you make a purchase. Like while your phone's asleep, I just hold it up next to it and it, it automatically understands and it shows up on my phone the total what I'm buying. Like it's How's scary. It How's it? Interact. It in- it's NFC. It's N- oh. NFC. In just like Skylanders or whatever. Oh. Just like Nintendo. Just like Amiibos. Amiibos. I'm getting every Amiibo. It must be so case somewhere. I'm gonna say. <laughs> There's so. Hey, at least they do something. Like I, I it's not like just like random f- action figures that stand there. You're gonna like connect them and they're gonna dance on the screen or something like that. I think it's the perfect time to finish this episode. <laughs> yeah. As soon as we go back, as soon as we talk to Nintendo, everyone wants. Next, it will be Destiny again. So, well, hey, we can we will have no Nintendo talk really until the twenty first when when Smash comes out. I will say that like I like the game a lot on three DS, but man, am I waiting for that Wii U version because it's going to be so much. What's coming out after that for Nintendo? Mm -hmm. They've got Bayonetta two, paint game. Splatoon is next year, unfortunately, but I think that's going to be really fun. Um, But they've got Captain Toad, which everyone's going to like, haha, but it's actually really good. Um, <laughs> and then they have Smash Bros. Those are the two big ones for Nintendo. And that's for that's it. Then the Wii U is dead. I mean, in terms of like, yeah. no, no, for for this Black holiday, ball. that's it, gone. Whatever. The Wii U is the. In terms of exclusives, the Wii U is the best system. In terms of quality games, oh, it you. is. Let's, let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> last thing I want to say because I heard people talking about this. Um, so, you know, people were looking, thinking about Sunset Overdrive, great Microsoft exclusive. It's turning out to be Halo Master Chief Collection, and Sony has Little Big Planet and the awful Drive Club. Sony's done terrible. Little Big Planet's awesome. Looking forward oh, though, they've got Bloodborne and Order in the same month, which makes no sense. So, yeah. which one do you think is going to get delayed? No one's going to get delayed. I th- you think they're going to put their two exclusives in the exact same month, two weeks apart? But Sony's going to bring it next year. Yeah, that's a hyper month. I'm not a fanboy at all. I bet the order gets delayed again. Own everyone. I mean, what's uh, Microsoft got? Microsoft, early next year. Yeah. Um, They've got Evolve DLC, which I know that doesn't really count, but eh. Evolve DLC. And then they have Quantum Break, I assume, has got to be... I don't know if that's holiday or early. Holiday. You think so? Holiday. Yeah. I don't, I, but then that's that's so crowded with Tomb Raider, Quantum Break, and Halo. Oh, Tomb Raider. Oh, God damn it. I, I'm, that's I one of the most Raider. anticipated games of all. Yeah, but they're so stupid taking that. They're going to sell so many more. You don't understand. The push of exclusives is so huge. So you're telling me yes. it being ex- exclusive on Xbox yep. One is going to sell Absolutely. more? What? Yes. Oliver, what would you think? I, I disagree with you there, Zach. Yeah, it's so um, wrong. Sorry. It's... I don't think it will sell more. It might buy a few consoles, but I don't think it'll do much. It's it's just a nice game. Okay, let me rephrase then. It will make more money for Crystal Dynamics. Yeah, because they get paid like a shed load from Microsoft. Yeah, well, they wouldn't do it, would they? If they didn't, if they weren't going to make more money, yeah. unless they needed the money to start the game. I don't Microsoft know how. is helping them with development, so I think it's going to make yeah. the game bigger and better. And I do, I still think like think about how many copies Uncharted sells or how many copies Halo sells. Oh, John. how many copies? You know, Mario Kart sells. You can be an exclusive and outsell because of... Like, look, Tomb Raider, if it was multi-platform, would not get end cap space at Walmart or, or wherever. But being an exclusive, they're going to probably have a bundle with it. They're going to push it heavily in, in TV advertisements with Xbox One logos and stuff. There's a chance that being out in front then during the busy holiday season gets it more awareness and more sales than if it was just, oh, Tomb Raider comes out 
oh, but we've got Uncharted 4 and we've got Halo 5, so that's what we're pushing. Hmm. 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 I have no comment. I, I don't think it's, we'll it may make more sales. money, may more better like a, a biz, as a business deal, but it's not going to make them. It's not going to sell more copies. I mean, I, I think it, it depends how Xbox One does on PS4 next, and next PC. PC was really popular with Tomb Raider. PC. Uh, we were the PC. I want to see Uncharted. <laughs> We've seen Nathan Drake's <laughs> old man face. What was that noise? <laughs> it's me getting a bit excited. You sound like a neighing horse. I think, I mean, like, think about Batman. I mean, Batman is, is a big brand, so multi-platform, it sells well. I don't know that Tomb Raider is big enough to do that, though. What? Okay, we, we should end this podcast before you say something else. Yeah, you're going to be offensive soon. <sighs> send him evil tweets. Send, send me evil news. tweets at twitter.com slash ghostrobo. <laughs> you can send Scott nice tweets and, and remind him to <laughs> use his Wii U so it's, it doesn't get too dusty. No, I, I honestly do think I think Nintendo's end of the year is better than anyone else's. I in terms of exclusives, not. yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I know what I'm. Gonna, yeah, I'm going to be playing at Christmas. I'm going to be playing my Nintendo Wii, Mario Kart DLC, family. and mm-hmm. Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so tell uh, it, it, t- tell Scott to go play more Wii U at Twitter.com/slash Game Riot Army, and tell Oliver about all of your Clash of Clans. Uh, send me your bases. Yeah, send send him your bases yeah. at Twitter.com/slash The Master of. I still don't get that game. I don't. I never played it. I have no clue what you're talking get about. Get it. I have it on my phone. It, I am going to play Literally, it. Literally, all of my family, oh, right? All of my family play it now. Nobody yeah. played it. I, I put it on their phones. I told them to play half an hour. Everybody plays it. I get asked for gems <laughs> from my whole family. You will, once you start playing it, you will play it for oh, a good, probably two years. Cool. Great. So. The next two years of our lives are going to be occupied by Clash of Clans. So on that note, you guys know the future. We know that we are going to be back with another one of these soon. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Make sure to check out these guys' channels. They are always doing something of interest, whether it is booming on the beach, clashing of the clans, or all of the uh, the sieve that Game Riot is about the to best, do. The best sunset walkthrough. The best YouTube. sunset walkthrough on YouTube, Game Riot Army. Mm-hmm. YouTube.com. I had that too. Slash Game Riot Army. <laughs> and then there's that Ghost Robo guy who who also plays games. Average. He's Nintendo. Average. Hey, but at least I'm about to get my gold play button. So that's all. all oh, are you lucky devil. I'm not jealous. I, am I got my silver one in the post. 20K away from, from that million. And the plaque is unsubscribed. I don't know where I'm going to put it. It is four <laughs> times as big as the silver one, at least. That's going to be That'd so be awesome. cool. On the it's wall. Are we having a party? Are you inviting us over? Yeah, I heard you were. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to pay for a fight? I, I got, yeah, I got I a boat lined up for you. It's going to take two weeks to get here. So you're leaving <laughs> I will do tomorrow. That. I'll do that. All right. Party boat. <laughs> Oliver and Scott will get on the boat. You guys have a fantastic week. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, we will see you all later. Goodbye.